Hey folks, Jason Ballas with OutdoorProductReview.com. Welcome back for our 2012 bow review. Um, today, the bow that we're gonna be covering, but real quick, let me shout out to our sponsors. We have True Fire Releases. We're shooting at uh, the Hardcore Max. It's a great hook release, so we have all our bows set up with a loop, if you will. Um, we got Trophy Ridge as our rest. Sika gear, some of the best hunting clothing that you can have. Then we're shooting Victory Armor Piercing Arrow shafts. So, and remember that shaft's 389 grains, and our bow set up at 29 inches and 70 pounds. So, but the bow we're doing today, as you all probably could see, is the new Bowtech Insanity CPX. Um, I saw this bow unveiled at the ATA show and I was pretty pumped to get it in my hands and, and shoot it. Uh, I've done Bowtech since they started and I love reviewing the Bowtech bows out there. They come out with something that's just cool every single year. You know, overall, six inch brace height on this giving it a blistering 355 feet per second on the IBO, which is just super fast, I'm sure. I haven't shot the bow yet. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, they have their overdrive binary cams here, which give it that speed. Really a radically looking cam, you know, it just comes over the top. Your limbs, they're seven layer limbs, and you know, the CPX is center pivot technology, so they're, they're almost beyond parallel. It's really cool. They have their flex roller guard system in here. So not only does it move with the cables on the rollers, but it also flexes out of the way so you're not torquing the cables itself. They have a Y yoke system here on their cables that come down. One thing is, if you're gonna do anything with this bow, you wanna put a peep sight in, it has to be pressed. And I recommend that you take it to a professional to get it pressed in a proper press because you know the old apples that pull it down aren't gonna work. You need one that's gonna actually have the fingers on it that's gonna push the bow. And, and collapse the limbs. That's one recommendation that I have for everybody out there. Do not try to press this bow by yourself. It's not covered in the warranty if you mess something up and that's, you know, it's an expensive bow. Looks really awesome and you don't want to mess that up. Uh, this year, instead of the in velvet finish, it feels, it's more like a textured finish. It's still soft, but it's not as velvety as they had it before. They have a carbon STS rod here that, that absorbs the string when it hits. Um, they even have a little dampener here that sort of takes some of the shock out of when you shoot. The cool Bowtech lab label inlaid here, you know, all made in the USA. Really a cool looking bow if you guys look at that. That is just awesome. Uh, retail for about $999 bucks, and you guys have yourself probably one of the best bows that's out there on the market this year. Um, I mean, I, like I said, I might be a little biased, but I'm definitely, definitely impressed with what Bowtech's come out with in the last few years. Um, they do have on their shelf, it's almost like a little upended portion that they've attached there to protect your hand from the arrow or from broadheads or anything along those lines. You know, the grip on it, it's like all Bowtex grips, they just feel great in your hand. And uh, overall, aesthetics, a total 10, just a cool looking bow. But why don't we do that draw test, and then we're gonna shoot the bow, and when I shoot it, you guys will see it in slow motion just like you always do. Then we're gonna shoot it through the chronograph because I'm really excited, as you could tell, to see what the speed is out of this bow. All right, we're gonna do that draw test now. And uh, once again, I apologize for the plane noise. However, you know, we live here where they fly planes and gliders every day. So it's just something we have to deal with. But let's go ahead and draw the bow. It's pretty, pretty smooth coming back. I mean, it was like drawing nothing at all. Probably felt like about 62 pounds and it's set at 70. So let's sort of torque our hand a little bit. No issues there. And remember, if you torque the bow and you come off, those strings are gonna come off that cam and that's not covered under warranty. So it's gonna be some pretty big out of pocket expenses for you. So just make sure you never wanna draw a bow number one without an arrow in it. All right, let's try our creep test. Well, it wants to go, <laughs> as you guys saw right there, it wants to go. But it has a solid wall so you can hold it back. Still was able to recover. It went all the way forward, but if it wants to go, I can tell you this bow is gonna be super fast. Let's go ahead and shoot it. I mean, that draw length's right at 29, perfect right there. I'm gonna touch my fingers. The bow sort of stood there and then it just rolled forward. That's probably because of the top of the, the weight here and didn't have a stabilizer on the bottom, but no hand shock, no noise, pretty awesome. Why don't we watch that in slow motion and we're going to do the speed test.
We're, sh we're shooting at Botech Insanity through the chronograph, 389 grain arrow. Three hundred and twenty one smoking feet per second. All right, folks, there you saw it. Three hundred and twenty one feet per second. I mean, that was so fast. I think it was on fire. I mean, super, super fast. Three hundred and twenty one feet per second. That was just smoking fast. I'll tell you what, if you guys get a chance, find a Bowtech dealer near you. If you can't find one, go on their website, put in your zip code and it'll tell you the one that's closest to them. Um, you guys will be super impressed. That's all I have to say. 321 feet per second, no hand shock, smooth drawing, super, super fast, quiet. Um, yeah, tell you what, you guys go shoot it. You're going to agree with me 100%. So for Outdoor Product Review, I am Jason Ballas. We'll see you guys on our next bow review, which are going to be here shortly. We're getting ready to finish up things for the season. But send any requests for things you want to see besides uh, bows because we get all the bows and you guys get to see them. So once again, I am Jason Ballas. We're going to see you guys soon.